What's up, YouTube? It's your boy MB in the place to be, man. Um, just uh, making this video right here. It's not uh, about me doing no fiberglass, no paint, no body work, or none of that. Well, it is about body work, but it's about uh, conducting business the right way and the wrong way. Now, I did this guy car, right? And y'all might have heard me speak his name several times. Shout out to uh, my boy Jay from So Conceited. You know what I'm saying? Car Club. You probably heard me saying that and his cousin Brian a lot. You guys heard that. So, you know, right then and there, like I said, it's been a year and a half ago, whatever, whatever, probably longer, whatever, whatever. But what I'm trying to say is this, right? Before anybody else come and get some business from me and you have a problem with anything I do, if anybody got a problem with any of my work, right, and you got a problem with it, you can sure say, hey, MB. Because first of all, y'all know I'm cool. You know what I'm saying? That's first of all. So if you got a problem with my work, you should say, MB, um, I'm not satisfied with your work, right? I'm quite sure that's what you would do. That's what you're supposed to do. If you see something that's not right, because if it was like with me, if I had something wrong, if I take my car to somebody, tell somebody to do something, and I pay the money, you know what I'm saying? And we're going to dispute the word money, too, because he said he paid good money. But anyway, and if I see at the end of the day, or when I get my uh, product back, I'm not happy with it, I'm going to say, MB, uh, I, ain't, I ain't happy with this. Uh, how can we fix it to make me happy? You know my job is to make my customers happy. Bottom line, I'm talking about that's bottom line. You know what I'm saying? With the right, you know what I'm saying? You know, if you're going the right way, you know, that's, that's, that's my bottom line to make sure everybody I deal would be happy. You know what I'm saying? That's just it. But anyway, this guy uh, obviously wasn't happy. But the way he took the approach to approach me about it, I didn't think it was cool. Now, you guys might think it was cool, but I'm going to tell you what he did. Um, now, today is December... Today is December 13th, 2012, right? Now, this video was posted July 9th, 2012. So, that was in the summer. It's wintertime now. It's in the summertime. Okay, it's in the summertime. So, if I'd have found out Something happened in the summertime. I'm going to say, man, I got a problem with this in the summertime. Now, six months done passed. You hit me in my inbox. Now, if it was me, I'd hit you in your inbox. Like I said, I guess maybe, like I said, because I'm going to give you the benefit of the doubt. Maybe you thought I was looking at your channel. No, I wasn't. I don't have no reason to look at your channel. You know, you don't do fiberglass. You don't do no cars. You don't do anything. So I don't have to look at your channel. But I do look at your cousin's channel all the time. Real nigga shit. But anyway, I, I get up this morning and it's an inbox saying, Mike, hit me up. Uh, I got some questions to ask you. So I like, I called the phone number he gave me. It's in my phone. It doesn't work. So anyway, I go on this channel and check out this video. You know, like I said, I, I ain't been on his videos in a minute. So I'm going to check his channel out. You know what I'm saying? Because he got an inbox. I thought he maybe he didn't show me something. But when I go through his channel, I look at the video and say the video was posted, published on July 9th, 2012. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Now, I think I did that car last year, though, or the year before last. Yeah, something like that. But yeah, now to get to the part, I'm talking about I spent good money. <laughs> he said he spent good money, right? Now, I know what you spent. You know what you spent. But you're telling people good money. Good money is thousands of dollars, hundreds of dollars, hundreds of dollars. You gave me $175, man, in a hood school. And the hood school came into place there because you didn't have the other money to give me. It was $350. That's what I charged you. Cash. I gave you a deal. I said, give me $350. I'm going to take care of that. You gave me $175 in the hood school. You gave me the $100 to start. Then brought me $75 on your payday. And then you gave me a hood school the following week. So when you say good money, when I gave you that $350 price, you're supposed to cash me out. Bottom line. Now, I'm not saying... I did that for the 175 and took the hood school uh, for you to sit up here and say I gave a bogus up. But you didn't even say about that, that, that car door. That car door was dropped leaving out my garage. You know what I'm saying? And your cousin painted that car. I did not paint that car, man. Your cousin painted that car. And you talking about uh, the paint bleeding through, whatever? That means that car was in prep right before it was painted. Every painter know before you paint a car, you got to prep it. You know what I'm saying? And then you showed me a, a, a part. Matter of fact, let me go to the video, y'all. I ain't finna sit up here. Keep going. Sorry about the light, y'all. Let's see. And make your video a little bit better now. Can't nobody really see, man. You gotta. Oh, man, I don't want to say his name. Listen. Mike. Man, you did a shitty ass job on my car, man. Listen to this guy. I'm 
like, man, my cuz painted it, but damn. Light that's a dent. Spots. Look at that. That's a dent right there, man. What are you talking about, dog? And them doors was well together. You know that, boy. Them doors was well together. When them doors were dropped, it broke the well, man. Come on, man. Look at that spot right there. That's from not being prime and prep right, buddy. So you trying to sit up there. You, actually, you can't bash my name, man. Because like I said, check my stats, dog. You can't bash my name. So this video you put up and got 97 views within seven, six, five months, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Come on, man. You could have called me like a real nigga instead of putting this, this video up. You know what I mean? You could have just called me like MB, man, such, such, bad, skippy, woo, woo. You know, this the situation I'm at. You know what I'm saying? You don't, you, you don't put no video up bashing my name. You, you did it on several videos, but I don't have time to keep on going through your videos. You know what I mean? Like I said, check my stats, dog. But like I said, if you had a problem, dog, you should have been inboxed me. And you should have been uh, said, hey, man, uh, how can we fix this problem? Because, you know, your name is on his work. And then I would have went back and said, dog, you know you only gave me blood skippy woo woo. You'd be like, oh yeah, but now I'm straight with the paper. Now I can take care of you. Because you remember you said you had to move, man. And then when you got that car, you was rushing me, dog. You rushed me every fucking day. Because you was moving out of town, dog. You didn't let them people know that. You didn't say, oh yeah, but I did rush them, y'all. Let them people know what's going down, man. Don't, don't try to sit there and bash somebody's name and make yourself look good. Because right now, you're not looking good to me. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm a businessman first. And if you came to me like, yeah, MB, I don't like this, man, I'd have fixed it. If anybody got a problem with any work I do for them, let me know. Don't make no video trying to uh, not bash my name. You bashing my name, bottom line. You know what I'm saying? But you bash my name, it's going to work. My work speaks for me, dog. Since that video you put up, man, I did a thousand cars. Come on, man, don't nothing stop. Come on, man. Like I said, if you had a problem, you should have been called me, dog. I thought we was cool. You know what I'm saying? You could have said, yeah, man. Nigga, I'm giving you shout out to you and your cousins, man. I'm shouting y'all out, you know what I'm saying? That makes me look better, like, oh, like I'm sweating y'all. When you know that ain't the case at all, man. You guys came to my crib. I didn't come to your crib. Well, I came to your crib and saw the cars you had, but I didn't come to your crib to try to hook up with you or get you to do no work. I talked to your cousin about some work. He, he, never, he never got back at me, so I started doing my own fiberglass. Just the way things go, dog. Like I said, man, if you had a problem, you know how, you know how to fix that car for you, dog. You know how to fix it. With no problem, man. But you gotta let them people know, man, you was rushing me, man. You rushed me, dog. And you gave me $175 in a hood school. You know, you got the people think, oh, you get a guy a lot of money, a good money, he's gonna fuck you over. Come on, dog, don't do that, man, because everybody that know me know me. They know him being like that. People know me, man, like I said, so whatever you're trying to do, it ain't gonna work, buddy. And far as me uh, messing your car, you messed your own car, dog. Because you waited till now. I paint, man, I did that body work a year ago. A year ago, you should have been saying something about it. You should have been, you should have been hit me about it. I'm just learning this morning. Come on, man, get it right, dog. Peace and love.